Hi, this is Charlene Bruce speaking to you from Aspiring Artist School. And today I want to do a demo on index colors in Photoshop. A lot of you probably already know this move, but for those of you who don't know it, you're in for a real treat. When I discovered this, that was very exciting for me. The artwork that I'm using today is by Sonia Delaunay. It's called Prismas, and it is a uh, tetradic color scheme like the three different complements all together at one time. Okay, so let's get started. To index uh, colors from a painting, uh, what you're basically doing is saving all of these different colors to your color swatches. It's a pretty simple technique, and what it does, it allows you to create a palette to use in your own paintings. So you can use a comic book page by Mike Mignola if you like those colors, a painting by Renoir, a pre-Raphaelite painting, and you can open it up and you can index the colors and, cre and grab the colors that you want to use and create your own color palette. So you're going to go to image right up here and you're going to go to mode and you're going to choose index color. You can see that um, you have a bunch of selections here, local, selective, none, transparency, none, um, matte, dither, none. I usually don't play around with these options too much, but the one option that I do play around with is the colors. And you can go as high as 250 colors. So let me show you what that looks like. You see how the color changed in the box here? It includes almost all the colors that are there. Um, I usually don't do more than 25 colors, but let's see what happens when we go down to 100. Let's see what we what happens when we go down to, say, 7. The color is quite muted. And if you go to 0, you get nothing. <laughs> okay, so let's choose 25 and see what happens. Okay, so it's kind of muted but we've got the very basic, pretty much the very basic colors that we've got here. And you notice that the layer changed from a plain layer to an index layer that's locked. Go to image mode, color table, and there's all of your colors, all 25 of your colors right there. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna save these colors. You can save them to your desktop, your USB, wherever you save your color palettes. And I'm gonna call it Sonia Delaunay color. And you wanna save it as an ACT file. I'm just going to save to my desktop right now. So it's loaded. I'm going to say OK. So now down here in my swatches, you can see I have a little blank space. What I'm going to do is opposite my swatches. And if you don't know how to find swatches, just go to Window and click on Swatches. Uh, these little horizontal lines right here, it looks like a page with lines on it. You just click it. You want to load swatches. And I'm going to look up Sonia Delaunay. There she is. And you can see my files there, my Sonia Delaunay Color Act file, and I've got open here at the bottom, and I'm going to click on it, and voila, there's all 25 color swatches from this painting. That is it in a nutshell. So thank you very, very much for watching. This is Charlene Brew talking to you from Aspiring Artist School. Have a great day. Bye.